I'd like to uh, to call uh, Mara's uh, grandma or BB. Welcome. Hi everyone, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a, it's an honour. Uh, I'm not going to talk long. I just want you to know that uh, Mara was four when he got his first football uniform. And his words were, I'm going to play for AFL. I went to another room and was really sad because I thought this little boy's going to have his heart broken. I underestimated your drive, your ambition at four. Uh, every day of his life has been sport. And he was uh, quite an unusual kid. He loved vegetables and he didn't like lollies. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, on his journey, um, he had four grandparents. Murrah went to Scots College, and by the time he finished college, there was only one remaining. So today, I would like to honour them. So I'll start with Murrah's grandfather, John Carmody, his pop, who tortured him in the backyard and never let him kick with his right foot, ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and my father knew what he was doing. That's all I'll say. His great-grandmother, Patricia Carmody, and to his grandmother, Violet Clark, his nan. So he's been a remarkably brave boy to get through and to um, endure all their passing and still carry on with his dream. So in honour of them, I would like to pass you your jumper. You've made a whole family very proud, both Koori and Irish. <laughs> Um, and obviously uh, a sense of family and, uh, and particularly in NAIDOC work, you know, it's, a, uh, it's not by design, it's just coincidence that Mara is making his taboo. Um, on a week where we, uh, where we celebrate Indigenous culture, thanks for coming in today and sharing in, uh, in Mara's uh, lead up to his his, uh, his boyhood dream of playing for uh, playing at AFL, as you say, but playing for the Mighty Bulldogs. So uh, it's going to be a great day. Um, thanks for coming in, and, uh, and we'll see you on Sunday. Uh, we might come.